Hello everyone, my name is Yusuf Hassan and today we're going to be doing a very long awaited uh, video on how to use Anki for the MCAT. Okay, so I'm going to take you from top to bottom, from all the way from the beginning, looking up the deck, getting it, downloading it, everything. Um, so first I need you to have Anki downloaded, right? Anki's right here. These are my two friends, Steve and Kevin, very great guys I met in medical school. So I have Anki downloaded right here, correct? Okay, so now once you have Anki downloaded, the thing is when you open up Anki, right? You're going to see this blank screen and, and it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. There's no intuitive way to use this. It's just a blank screen, right? So you need to get an Anki deck. Um, so let's get the Anki deck, right? Let's do mile down by chapter. Right, and you can see I've looked it up before, just because I sent it to some of my students. And it says a new mile down deck organized by Kaplan chapter. When I studied for the MCAT, the mile down deck was not organized by chapter, but now it is. So this helps a lot. Okay, so we're gonna click this, right? And then we're gonna say download. And obviously, you know, have a little bit of faith in the community, please, right? Download anyway. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to download the Anki package, right? So now that it's downloading, we're waiting pop this open, right? When you click on that, it's going to open up the deck inside of Anki. It's going to do it automatically, right? So it's going to process the download that you just did. It's going to upload the deck over here. Now, if you've never used Anki before, what is it? It's basically a flashcard app, right? It's a flashcard app that uses something known as spaced repetition. So you can see now it's added the files. So there's 2,885 cards that it's added over here, and they're all going to populate into here, right? And now this is what it looks like, but you have to hit this little plus and you'll see everything, right? Okay, so let me give you, before we do anything, let me give you my Anki settings, right? So you can see it says new, learn, and do, right? So the new cards are the cards that you've never seen before. As this is a new deck, you've never seen any of them before, right? If you want to see all the cards that are here, go to browse, right? And then you can go into the deck, mile down Kaplan, right? You can like toggle down and do the biochemistry, like this is the biochemistry chapter one. And you can look and you can look at all of these cards, right? You can preview them over here. You can obviously pull this up to look at everything. I think these cards are just beautiful. They have great, uh, you know, uh, diagrams, things like that. Super, super helpful to your education. I would definitely recommend this to anyone who's studying for the MCAT. But anyways, right? So these are the new cards, right? And these are the number of the new cards that you can do a day. Now, what's good about having the deck organized by chapter is that your new cards in the day are just gonna be the chapters that you did for that day, right? Um, so basically what you can do is you can go to options, and this is different on Mac than it is on PC. I'm on a PC right now. You go to options, right? And you can say new cards per day, just crank that. Crank that soldier boy, right? Crank it all the way up, right? Now this is just gonna tell you, basically now that you cranked the new card limit all the way up, it's gonna tell you how many cards are in all these decks and how many cards you have left that you haven't seen yet, right? You're not gonna do 497 cards in one day if they're all new, right? If they're reviews, yeah, maybe you'll get up there at some point. But look, when you're doing chapter one, like right here, just go to chapter one, you're doing 56 new cards, right? And and we'll we'll go we'll get to how to do the cards in a second, right? But right now we're just setting up the uh the options. Now what happens is that eventually when you start doing these cards every single day, they're going to be shown to you another time and that's the whole point of space repetition that you do them one day they show them to you ne the next day and they show them to you the next day and blah 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 whatever it is. And there's four ways to rank the cards: hard, right? Or or like hard okay, good, and easy, right? It's, it's something like that. And, and we'll go into the settings in a second when we do cards together. Um, and based on how you rank them, that's how long it's going to take until it shows it to you again. Now, one of the things, so it's again, hard, good, and easy, right? So if you hit again, it'll show it to you within 10 minutes, right? And then if you hit hard on the first day, it'll show you in 10 minutes again, because that's your first day seeing that card. If you hit good, it'll show it to you the next day. And if you hit easy, it'll show it to you in four days. But then the next time you see that card, all those intervals go up. Does that make sense, right? So if you say a card was easy, it shows it to you in like a week, right? And then next week, you're going to see that card again. But let's say you forgot it. You just hit again. And then the algorithm resets. It shows it to you in 10 minutes. The next time you see it, it shows it to you in a day. And the next time you see it, it shows it to you in a week. Like the algorithm goes like that. So this is absolutely incredible, right? What about the reviews per day? 
you always want to do all of your reviews. Whatever number of cards you have, at least at this point when you're taking the MCAT, you want to do all your reviews. So once again, all nines, all across, right? All right, now, we finally got to the point where we can do some cards together. Four fingers on one, two, three, and four on your keyboard, and then one finger, the thumb, on the space bar, right? So you open up whatever deck you want. So let's do chapter one. And you can just hit the space bar to get it going, right? So what is this amino acid? Actually, that's a great question to ask the audience. What do you think this amino acid is? This is tyrosine. Very good. Now, if I knew that, right? If I knew that, for, for me, it was easy because I've seen this 100,000 billion times, right? So I would hit four, which is easy. And you see how it says four days on top of easy, right? Oh, also, those things at the bottom, one, two, three, and four. Again, hard, good, and easy. That's the keyboard shortcut, right? So if you wanted to say good, you could just hit three on your keyboard, right? If you want to say again, you just hit one on your keyboard. So since it was easy for me, right, I can hit easy, right? And I rarely ever use the easy button when I was studying for the MCAT. Nothing was like super easy, like came off the top of my head, like, you know, uh, that quick. Um, but now that I'm looking at it again, and this is maybe my 1,000th time seeing it, I'm like, yeah, it's easy. So what's going to happen is when I hit the four to say easy, I'm not going to see this card again until four days later. But in four days when I'm doing my Anki, this card's going to pop up again. And then when it pops up again, all of these intervals will be changed. So the hard will say like, oh, instead of six minutes, it'll say two days. The good will say instead of 10 minutes, it'll say like uh, one week. And the easy will say 14 days, let's say, something like that. So the easier the card is, the later it shows it to you. And that's sort of how you get the space repetition. That you have other cards that you're going to do that are going to line up with that. So on specific days, you're doing specific cards depending on how easy or hard they were and when you last did them. So let's say easy, right? This amino acid. What is it? It is aspartate, right? But let's say I didn't know that, right? I would just hit the number one. Again, it's going to show it to me in less than a minute. What is this group? This you, A lot of students might not know this, but this is the guanidinium group, right? So it's from Argentine. Um, and let's say that you didn't know that either. You're going to say again. And eventually, those two cards that you said again for, you're going to see them in less than a minute. And then you do this until all the cards are gone. So I'm just going to tap through these to kind of show you guys, like, you know, how this kind of goes. So I'm just going to say good for all of them. Now, the thing is, the first day that you do them, when you say good... It's going to show them to you in less than 10 minutes. So now all the cards, I, I've, I've tapped through them. All of them are sort of good, right? Here's that card that I said to see again, right? So it's the first thing that shows up in the cards that are do, right? What are these do cards? You can see, or sorry, the, the learn cards. So those are the cards that I'm currently learning that I've seen once, but I haven't put away into any part of the schedule. And it puts them away into the schedule for you. Also, you guys aren't going to have this thing right here. It's called the heat map. Uh, you don't need to download it. It's just an Anki add-on. But if you wanted to know, I could probably make a separate short video about that. Um, so now all of these cards that I tap through, they are learn cards. So now when I see them again, look, Right here, these, this is the card that I said was hard, so even good is less than 10 minutes, and then this is the card I also said was hard. But then these cards that I said were good, the second time they come around, if you say they're good again, puts it away, and you see it the next day. So that's how the algorithm of Anki works, and you do this every single day. You do this every day. So let's say the next day, you study Chapter 2 of Biochem, you pop open Chapter 2, you do these 46 new cards, but... The other thing that's going to happen is you're going to have the 50 whatever cards from chapter one due that day, right? So you're going to do the review cards for chapter one and then the new cards for chapter two and the new cards for chapter three and the review cards for chapter two and chapter one. But once again, on that third day, when you're studying chapter three, not all of the cards from chapter one are going to be for review. Some of them will be for review because you had more difficulty with them. But the cards that you had an easier time with will be for review next week or something like that and this is how Anki goes and you do this every single day you do the new cards you do reviews etc etc until you've seen all of the new cards in here all of them every single one and then all you will have is reviews right and the reviews you just continue doing them so you're going to see zero 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 new cards but your due cards are going to be like let's say you have 200 cards due from bio 100 cards from orgo 300 cards from uh behavioral sciences, right? Do that day. Um, and all of them are spaced out depending on how difficult the cards were, cards were for you. So you can see this heat map's actually kind of helpful because look, that card that I said was easy, that it's set for four days from now, one, two, three, four. 
and that's the card that I have due on that day, right? Along with all the other cards that I'm gonna study that are gonna be due on that day, depending on how hard or easy they are for me. I hope this is a little bit of a comprehensive review of how Anki works. Um, once again, this is supposed to be supplemented with, of course, studying lectures, reviewing out of the books, eventually doing practice problems, but Anki is something I would do the entire time. From when you start studying out of the books or studying from lectures, things like that, I would start doing Anki. Um, so of course, I'm going to plug myself. Um, so let's say that you were studying from my YouTube video, right? Or my YouTube lectures. So let's say that you had just watched what? Let's say that you had just watched, you know, uh, chapter eight in biochemistry, right? You can just pop open here, go to chapter eight of biochem, right? And then review all these cards and then put away, put them away for review and blah, blah, whatever, right? So they, they this is kind of also why I made my lectures in coordination with the Kaplan chapter so that people could keep up with it in the Anki. Because when I heard about this deck, um, it, I don't think it was a thing when I was taking the exam. It was back in 2021. When I heard about this deck, I was like, wow, this is going to be really helpful to the people who are watching my, my lectures. Um, so it's, yeah, it's great. And I love Anki. Uh, once again, guys, please do check out the rest of the videos on my channel so that you can, you know, Know, benefit from them. Uh, I make them all free for you guys to benefit from. Also, check out the links in the description for the lecture folder dedicated to all of my lectures. So that's where I put my study guide. That's where I put the uh, sign up list for the email, uh, the sign up for the email list that I have for my lecture series. Also, we have a WhatsApp chat for my MCAT students where you can get updates and you can ask questions and I'm able to interact with you guys a little bit more closely. Um, so you guys can feel free to join the WhatsApp chat down below. And if you guys want to support the channel, I have a buy me a coffee page and I also put my Venmo down in the description. You don't feel like you have to, but if you do donate, 50% of everything I make from this channel goes to charity um, and you can be a part of that as well. Um, so once again, guys, I know this video has been a long time coming. People have been asking me how to use Anki and how to set up the settings for a while. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I hope this was, you know, um, something that you benefit from. And I hope this is something that you can share with others who are confused about how to use Anki as well. Um, so I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And I really appreciate all your love and support. Good luck, guys. Study hard. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.